Hey, Jan Ozer here. Um, the purpose of this test is to determine whether files encoded with CVR deliver a better quality of experience than files encoded with VBR um, over a constrained connection. So to facilitate this, this test, I created a uh, kind of a hybrid file. There's one 30-second uh, segment of Talking Head followed by a 30-second segment of ballet, high motion, low motion, and I do that three times. So it's a three-minute clip. Uh, three 30 second talking head segments, uh, three 30 second ballet segments. I encoded the clip to HLS format using Capella Systems Cambria FTC encoder, and here's the encoding ladder that I used. Um, in the encoding ladder, I changed the playlist to prioritize the 2100 kilobit per second file, this one, play that one first, um, as opposed to this file, which was played first in the original playlist. So these are the files I created, and in the playlist, the 2100 kilobit per second file is the one that I uh, am calling first. When I encoded in Cambria, um, this is the CBR file, so you see the average data rate is around 4.5 megabits per second which matches the 4.5 megabits per second target. Um, the average data rate is this blue line here, and it stays pretty consistent. These individual spikes are spikes in the GOP, or individual uh, group of pictures. Um, in this encoding, I encoded using a GOP interval of two seconds and a segment size of uh, six seconds. So there are 30 segments in each three minute video file. So this is the CBR file, and it looks, you know, the data rate overall is pretty consistent. There are some spikes in the individual um, individual GOPs. This probably is the start of the ballet sequence. So this is 30 seconds of talking head. This is the start of the ballet sequence. It jumps up to, uh, to ensure good quality. We see that here. We see that here. We see that here. And this is the VBR file. And here we see a very distinct difference between the size of the talking head segments and and actually group of pictures and the um, and the ballet group of pictures so we see this is talking head ballet talking head ballet very big difference the the segments of the ballet sequence are roughly twice as large as the segments in the talking head sequence now we're, we're working under constrained conditions and when i say constrained what i mean is that i used a tool called charles and it's officially called the Charles Web Debugging Proxy. Charles is a very capable tool. I'm using about 2% of its capabilities in these tests. Specifically, what I'm doing is I'm using the throttling tool to limit playback bandwidth to 3,200 kilobits per second here and upload speed, same, although upload speed is not important for these tests. So I am artificially throttling the download bandwidth to 3.2 megabits per second. And the other cool thing about Charles is that you can see which fragments are actually being downloaded uh, during the HLS playback. So that's very cool, very convenient. And just a quick look at what we see from a, from a speed test perspective. So this is the download bandwidth of this connection without the throttling. So with throttling disabled, which looks like this, it's 30, 35.5 megabits per second download. When I apply the throttle, it's 3.25, which is very close to the 3.2 that I requested in this particular control right here. So 3.2 kilobits per second, 3.2, or 3.2 megabits per second, sorry about that, uh, 3.2 megabits per second. So this is the throttling that I was able to do in Charles, and I'm going to apply uh, that throttling throughout all the tests that we're going to be looking at. Now there's two sets of tests, and, and you'll notice that I have Safari showing. There are two sets of tests. Number one, I am showing playback using the Safari HLS player. And how I do that is I go to the files that I uploaded to my website. Oop, wrong one. and then I call the playlist directly. So here I'm using the 
HLS player within Safari. The other test that I'm running is using the JW player. So here what I did was I created a page with the JW player uh, player, and then I'm calling that page, which means Safari is going to use the JW player HLS playback mechanism rather than the Safari HLS playback mechanism. And as you can see here, we've got VBR contact with the content with the JW player, CBR content with the JW player, and then these are the playlists associated with uh, the VBR content and the CBR content. When I play these, I'll be using the Safari HLS player. So what we're going to do is we're going to play back these in order, or actually not in order, VBR first, then CBR using the Safari player, and then VBR using JW, and then CBR using JW. And what we're going to be looking for are any stoppages in playback. Um, obviously, a stoppage is you know, very, very degrading to the overall quality experience. And we're also going to be looking at how often the streams switch. So, and we'll be able to see that very easily using the, uh, the Charles structure panel here. So, without further ado,